friends, I am Vinod Kimani and you are watching 22 Yards with VK. Today we are going to watch the ball of the century. For the longest time I thought, why was that one the ball of the century? Was it because that ball was bowled by the great Shane Watt? Or was it because it was the Ashes series between Australia and England? Or was it because Shane Watt spun the ball that much and bowled Mike Gatting, who was known for his arrogance? I saw that delivery a lot of times, but I never paid that much attention. So I decided to go closer and analyze the delivery, what actually happened and how it happened exactly. Now let us take a look at the ball in normal speed. Well, only two or three paces, he bowls and Gatting is taken on the pace, bowled! Well, Gatting's still standing there, he can't believe it, but that must have turned. Off only two or three paces, he bowls and Gatting is taken on the pace, bowled! Well, Gatting's still standing there, he can't believe it, but that must have turned. A now, it seems a great delivery, no doubt about that. It's spun a mile from way outside the leg stump, it took the top of the off stump. Great delivery, no doubt about that. But was it worthy of being called the ball of the century? Now, let's take a closer look. Very long, that must have turned an awful long way. And we're still waiting for that Mike Gatting. Is... Very long, that must have turned an awful long way. And we're still waiting for that Mike Gatting. Is... Now, in slow motion, it really seems to be a ripper of a delivery. Now, what we'll do is, we'll take a closer look in ultra slow mo. So now we start here. Look at the release. The release is on the off stump, just outside or on the off stump. And then ball drifts a long way down to the seventh or the eighth stump, down the leg side. Pitches, spits venom, and from there it takes the top of the off stump. Now I deem that delivery was unplayable. Forget about Mike getting, he was a good player, but he was nowhere near being great. You know, I dare say a lot of the greats of that era and even now would have struggled to play that delivery just because of the tragic thing. The release was just around the off stump, drifted about 7-8 stumps, pitched way outside leg stump, spun a long way to take the top of the off stump. I dare say it is the ball of the century for a reason. That has been titled as the ball of the century for a reason. I mean, that was a great delivery. The drift and turn, that's what made it the ball of the century. So, was it worthy? In my opinion, absolutely yes. Just analyzing stuff like this is what we do on this channel. So, I hope guys you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're watching this video and haven't subscribed to my channel, 22 Yards with VK, don't forget to subscribe because we'll be posting a lot of videos like this, analyzing a lot of cricket stuff and following the Indian team as well. So, don't forget to subscribe. That's it from my end. Hope to see you guys on the other end, man. Hope to see you in the next video. In the meanwhile, this week is signing off, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.